Speaking of which, just mentioning your dad, I got to ask, people ask this frequently. So tell us about the name Adolf. Well, I, I have said to um, a couple of young Beavis and Butthead guys uh, and, and, and the Butthead guys who, who, who have written me uh, you know, uh, out of the blue on uh, email to ask about that. And my response has been, so, so what part of junior do you not get? Yeah, of course, yeah. Right. And my father was born in 1921. Uh, and he was at uh, D-Day and the Battle of the Balls. He wasn't happy about being in either one of them. But well, when the war was over, he was more um, concerned on giving his label to what he assumed sure. to be uh, his d DNA than, that, than he was about Hitler. Because in right. his mind, anyway, he had had the name a good 15 years before Hitler had it. Yeah, shouldn't right. let that guy ruin a great, a good name. Right, totally not. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm also, I mean, since we moved around a fair, uh, with a fair amount when I was a kid, um, I'll credit it with a couple things, like uh, the name, and like I was, um, and you know, I was never somebody who sought the spotlight for anything, but right? I was always kind of a shy kid. Um, and, and like most kids, I didn't want to be the center of attention ever. So from that perspective, like the so name- So then you change your name legally to Benito. <laughs> oh, right, exactly. I, yeah, uh, in some ways that would have worked better. Yeah. <laughs> I would have had a lot more Italian friends and and and, 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 and non-Italians would have known. But, right. um, but no, but uh, well, like it gave me a certain humility and it also taught me how to fight and that I couldn't avoid yeah. fighting. Yeah, it's like the bo a boy named Sue. When that song came out when I was in college, I instantly what was it, drawn That's to really it. funny. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I was all made off. <laughs> yeah. I was just curious if your dad, I mean, I don't mean this in a judgmental way. Like, do you, mm -hmm. did he, did he think to himself like, oh, I, I, I'm like, I guess I'm curious what it was like then also, if it was established enough of a name and Hitler was recent enough, enough of a, of a, person so that it hadn't been like hitlerized oh no it was totally hitlerized it, so it was okay so yeah. did your dad uh, ever think was he like did he no. think about it no nope. didn't yeah no nope. no nope. uh that didn't cross, cross his mind um you know the one place in the country where where i've seen um um the name commonly enough well not like you see it in the new york area like in one way but you see it like in, in, in South Louisiana another way too, because like that's a French name. So. Right. And, and it's common enough that, you know, I mean, they didn't associate with it. But, so. Right. So, I mean, I actually got, got less of that in South Louisiana than I got like in other places that we lived. Yeah. And then. Uh... Now there was a moment when my son was about three, where he was genuinely hurt that he wasn't Adolf the third. And I said to him, that'll change. Yeah, you're going to grow out of that. Right, right, absolutely. Yeah. That's really funny, yeah. What, what is his name based on? Uh, his, his name is based on uh, the uh, uh, on the trade union and uh, the independence movement leader in French, French Guinea. Uh, and uh, New Guinea was the only country in, in the French empire. Like when the French... Um, uh, held um, a re referendum right, right among their uh, in the remaining colonies with three options, right? To become a department of France, like uh, Martinique and Guadeloupe, and what and what, what they would have preferred for Algeria, uh, for Algeria. Uh, or uh, to remain in, 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 in the Francophone Imperial Federation or a complete independence. And Guinea was the only country that opted for complete independence. Oh, so, okay. So, I mean, that was that. Yeah. Guinea would have been problematic too. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Well, kind of the same way that uh, Benito would have been, but not exactly. Yeah, not exactly. Yeah. Well, I had a boyfriend whose name was um, Quique for Jorge. Oh, my Quique. God. And uh, usually it's spelled Q-U-I-Q-U-E, but this one's right. name was spelled K-I-K-E. Oh my God! Can you Jeez. imagine me text like I would text people like I'm coming with KIKE. <laughs> I, it was I, really funny. Yeah, I think you should have opted for a different spelling. I know. I tried to encourage that. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> he was he was he was born and raised in Colombia, so he didn't have the context. Oh yeah, yeah, right. so, yeah. 